A member of the NPC, Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Doyin Salami, says the central bank uh, is acting like a piggy bank to the Nigerian government because the central bank is funding the operations of the Nigerian government. The claims that the central bank has on the government by treasury bills up 20-fold. And you can see uh, the figures there with the uh, ramping up of treasury bills auctions yesterday. For example, the central bank sold about 216 billion naira in treasury bills, although at rates a little bit lower than previous uh, sessions. Move it up. And what is the uh, uh, considerations, therefore, for the meeting that we started on Monday and on Tuesday? We're getting comments from across the financial services sector. Uh, what is the outlook on this meeting? Uh, FSDH. Uh, Merchant Bank, the research unit, yesterday published a five-page document that says, in, uh, in conclusion, that after recession, the title was after recession, a need for policy change. That's a question. And it went on to conclude that a hold in rates at this meeting uh, tomorrow, uh, oh, sorry, Monday and, and, and Tuesday, uh, will be appropriate in order to sustain the current growth rate in the economy. However, the MPC may adjust the asymmetric corridor around the NPR to signify an easing. Now, you need to let that sink in a little bit because the central bank has decided to keep all the rates and the asymmetric corridor unchanged over the last a few meetings. Now, FSDH research believes that while rates could be left unchanged uh, Tuesday next week, September 26, the central bank, the MPC may adjust the asymmetric corridor around the NPR to signify uh, perhaps the rising number of members in the MPC who are calling for a rate cut. If there's an easing in the asymmetric corridor, then we could have an interest rate easing uh, in the very near future. Then there's another report from Meristem Securities, one of the uh, licensed and registered trading firm, and, and they uh, say, in summary, that while we opine that the committee may be at crossroads between uh, holding the rate steady and cutting it marginally to allow for more easing in the economy, we believe that ultimately status quo will be maintained as the economy is still in a fragile growth phase. And those are some comments ahead of meeting. We're going to stick around and digest this a pre-MPC meeting commentaries and analysis and outlook from the marketplace uh, before uh, Tuesday and all the way into Tuesday and next week. Uh, you don't want to miss that. But that's uh, uh, in the news. What else is in the news? Let's stick with the financial uh, services sector. A bit of a quietness when it comes to the Nigeria's national corporate governance call. So the regulators in the banking, uh, in the financial services industry led by the central bank has been thinking what to do with issues surrounding corporate uh, governance. Let's take a listen to the uh, director, uh, who is the CEO, I beg your pardon, at the Financial Institutions Training uh, center called the FITC, that's Dr. Lucy. Uh, let's listen to what she has to say regarding what has been done with the corporate governance issue, the King 4 report, and of course, the IFIs. The King 4 report looks at the spirit of governance. It's about goodness, about being fair to everybody, and about questioning your leadership responsibility as anybody in the value chain of banking, especially at the board. Then also, in your decisions for credit and lending, are you being fair or are you giving credit or lending and producing services to toxic and painful things that later come and impact the system? So it's just about bringing in all the goodness of the corporate governance with the spirit of not just competition that I win the market, but if any bank is independently competitive and profitable and others are not, the whole system is fumbled. So it is about responsibility for system, systemic development, as well as macro and micro development. Micro per institution, macro for system. How do we come together as a group and ensure that together we collaborate? While we compete in our respective areas, how does all our efforts add up to bring this particular process forward? Now let's get into what the CBN governor, Dr. Godwin Emefele, said about getting tougher with corporate governance in the Nigerian banking industry. What role should sanctions play in this development? You only see sanctions when there's like stubbornness or denial or lack of 
consent to accepting to corrections, then they weld the big stick. And the big stick is important, otherwise they won't be regulators. So part of it is for institutions to self-regulate. You know the key performance indicators, you know the expectations of the regulator. Check yourself and ensure you're never in infraction. Infractions can happen once in a while, but correct it immediately. And sometimes even report that we saw this so, and this is what we did. And this is what we have done to ensure that it doesn't happen again. And then life will be okay. So, but when it is so, I personally think some of the penalties are not expensive enough. Because I am aware, I say we are middle people. We work with regulators and operators. I'm also aware that some operators actually look at the cost of the penalty and think about the cost of losing that business. And if the penalty is less, that penalty is put inside the business as cost of doing business. So if the penalty is harsh enough, then it will be punitive enough, and then there will be no incentive to even explore. And I think that is the path that is going, and I think the, the CBN is generous enough to give a hint. It's like how you have an exam, and the examiner gives you a syllabus to say, read these areas, an exam is coming. And I think from this session, we truly want to appreciate the generosity of the central bank in giving these insights to the directors and also in speaking and allowing the directors to share and you had those who have spoken that they were bold enough to criticize some of the policies they can only be that bold enough because they have an engaging regulator and you know so one of the directors was speaking and the governor said don't worry they're not going to remove you i will not allow them to remove you so that comfort that trust in ability to speak up and share Dr. Lucy uh, Newman, who is the head of Financial Institutions Training Center, in an interview with a channel's a television business a news producer, Temple Ashaji. When we return, Nigeria's junior oil minister, Dr. Ibe Kachiko, leaves Nigeria today for Vienna, the Austrian capital, to attend the OPEC and its allies' meeting. Let's discuss what agenda Nigeria will be pursuing at the meeting scheduled to hold tomorrow. This is Business Morning.